Coach Don A here. I'm talking to you today, talking to you today about focusing on your focus, or when you can't focus, refocus. Um, sometimes when we get into things, we are in our in in the grind, and we are really good at making sure that we focus and we have the blinders on, and we can't see anything but what's in front of us. You know the stuff. So stuff um, on either side of your hands, you actually have to turn away to see. And when you do that, you can't see the stuff on your peripheral vision. So you're still completely focused. So today, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep them up. I couldn't keep it like that. And yesterday, and that might be because I have really been in a focused beast mode the last few weeks I've really just come home and focused or woke up at six o'clock in the morning and I was at my computer until like I took a moment's break and then I went back to my computer and I did something else and I've really been working on systems that will support me in my future so and by the way the blog is up and and it's Dawn Dawn Ori at I mean sorry Dawn Ori dot wordpress Dot com, so you know, go see me um, and check out my blog. Back to and, and you know, it's tweeting and Facebooking and all that stuff. It's beautiful, and I'm really excited about it. So, guys, go check it out. But in the focusing of all the things that I'm trying to get done, um, today was just not that day where I was able to actually focus and be attentive to the things that I needed to get done. So, I mean, I ended up spending time with my man. I ended up spending time on the phone. I ended up spending time on Facebook. I ended up spending time on Twitter. I ended up spending time wondering why I wasn't focusing. I, I literally was walking around my bedroom at one point going, why can't I focus? And then I went down the list of all the things that used to keep me from doing what I need to get done today. Um, and, and those things weren't a factor. You know, I wasn't afraid. I didn't have um, self-doubt. I wasn't going through all those things. It was just something else. I mean, I guess it was the house. I, I don't know. I mean, because, you know, you can do the dishes at home. You can do the laundry. You can clean up something when it's all disarray. And, and, and my mind sees all that. So my eyes see everything because I, I need space in order to work. And I need everything to not be cluttered. So I see all kinds of stuff, you know. And... Yeah, no, it's not like that, but I still couldn't focus, even with clarity in my house. So I ended up that I actually had to refocus my focus by leaving. And sometimes you have to refocus your focus by cutting out stuff, by not talking on the phone, by not, you know, not doing email, by really and truly walking away from all the things that could give you a distraction and transplanting yourself into a different space. I went to the coffee shop. I got myself a, a, a ginger ale and a turkey sandwich. And I went to work. And I literally, the time that I didn't have today, I literally worked it up. And, and I'm so glad that I actually decided, you know, I got to get out of here. And sometimes a change of scenery, be it going to the coffee house or going to the office instead of home, working from home or, or, or you know, taking a walk for a minute and coming back to your space or, or, you know, just taking a moment's break where you can actually get the stuff out of your head that's making you not focus. Um, those are things that help you refocus your focus. Um, or making a list. I used to make a list. And making a list worked for years when I was in school and, and between school and being a mother and being a, a business owner and doing all those things full time. My list was my life and I needed it and I live by it. I can't make a list to save my life right now and, and actually get it done. It just doesn't work for me in the same manner anymore. Um, the, that type of structure, I it doesn't I, it doesn't coincide with this kind of life that I live. So it's a little different. Um, I do make lists and I do follow through with them, but 
it's a different way of making a list because when you have a kid and you have a business and you have clients and you have um, um, employees and you have homework in four different classes, you can't miss anything. <laughs> so you have to make a list and check it all, check, 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 check it. At least that's how I did in order to get beyond it. Um, but truthfully, my focusing, the refocus of my focus today and the refocus of my focus usually is I get quiet, I meditate. I figure out what's going on. I find the, the creative flow wherever it is. And I walk into it or I, I relax into it and I allow it to come. And that was what happened when I left my house. I actually did something different and was able to really and truly, <laughs> like magic, work. And that's really all I was trying to do today. Um... So yeah, when it's time, when you're distracted and when you can't focus and when you feel like, oh my gosh, this is this day is going to be much harder than it would be because you can't focus and then you go into the why can't I focus and the why can't I do this and the why and the why and the why, instead of going through that round and round, stop. Remove yourself from that place. Go to another place. Get a change of scenery. Get a change, even if it's going from one room to the other. You know, get a change of scenery. Grab your laptop. Grab your iPad or your 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 tablet, or, or go to the library and use the, the the public computer. Something to give yourself a moment to refocus, because you have to stay on task in order to get everything that you need to get done done. You see that stuff behind me? That doesn't happen overnight, and that doesn't happen in five months or seven months or one year. That stuff happens. Because you focus and you keep going. I am just happen to be the kind of person that puts it all on the wall so that, so that I can see it and it can motivate me to keep going. <sighs> so, Life in 4G is really about making sure that we don't leave tasks undone because people are waiting for us to get everything done. And I keep saying people are waiting on us. And, and maybe sometimes you go, who are these people that are waiting on me? But when you get there, you'll know. When you get there, you'll understand. When you get there, you'll see that people are waiting for you. So, life in 4G is living in God, living a life of gratitude, living a life of giving, and living unapologetically in your greatness. Thanks so much. Have a great day.